Okay, guys. All right. Like and subscribe for watching. I don't get the many views because I suck. Um, Florida has to play Alabama and Texas A&M. Why well, you're wondering why? Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? It is a good thing. I truly believe that Kyle Trask is Big Daddy. I think Kyle Trask is pretty hot. Um, let me explain my reasoning. So, um, you, you know, you look at his stats. He had 25 touchdowns last year, seven picks. I think he passed for 2,400 yards, some, somewhere around there. And this year, you know, he's a seasoned veteran. He's been in the system for a while. And I feel like on a senior season, he's going to want to really, really leave his mark at Florida. You know, because he wants to get drafted, obviously. But with Texas A&M, you know, you got Kellen Mond. He has not been a consistent quarterback. He's been good, he's been bad, he's been terrible. He has not been consistent. Um, and I feel like any option quarterback that plays against Florida, and this is going to be the argument when we play Ole Miss with John Rice Pumley. Um, You know, every option quarterback that goes against Florida is not going to have success. Which I feel like that's probably going to happen with Kellen Mond. I feel like he's going to be flustered, he's going to be stuffed, and it's not going to be a good time for him. Now... Of course, I'll make a follow-up video to this um, after we play them. And it's either going to be Wiley Lost or Wiley Won against Texas A&M and Bama. Uh, what I think we're going to do, or here, let me just go ahead and predict this. I feel like Florida's either going to go 9-1 and one or 10-0, you know, due to the conference only SEC schedule stuff 10 games you can only play but a real and this one's a kicker too you know Alabama's known for their receiving core high powered offense Florida's known for their defense defense won championships but this year's defense is not going to be as good as the last five years of our defense so Alabama will give us a challenge that they're the toughest team on our schedule by far. Um, Georgia shouldn't be a challenge. It shouldn't be a challenge. But yeah, I and here here's what I think the scores are going to be though. For Alabama, I feel like we could probably cruise in. I say that we score thirty eight to twenty four. Thirty eight to twenty four for Bama. Texas A&M, 41-21. 41-21 for A&M. Their defense isn't very – no, I'll, I'll take that back. Their defense is oh, above average. Their offense isn't very good. Their defense is above average. Um, I think our offense is just going to have a scoring frenzy in the second half, you know, because we're a second-half team. We've always been that way. Anyways, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, just tell me what you want me to do next video. See you guys later.